It's Ashley with Budgets Made Easy and the Money Mindset Podcast. Today is day three of the Spring Cleaning Money Challenge, where we are decluttering and cleaning up our money, our habits, our triggers, and just getting a reset for the spring, right? New beginnings. Life is coming back, or the plants are coming back to life. Things are coming back uh and you don't feel so doom and gloom, right? From what, or at least maybe that's just me. I don't know. Um, so it just, oh, I just love spring, just like a restart, right? A refresh of the year. So that's what we're doing with our money. Today is day three um, in episode 140. So if you're listening to the podcast or uh, watching, following along on YouTube, go back and watch uh, the first two. So it starts at 138. And 139, today is 140. And today's challenge is one that saves me or has saved me hundreds of dollars in the past. Um, and you can follow along, make your notes, take get some ideas, figure out your game plan uh, with the workbook at budgetsmadeeasy.com slash spring. So this is spring cleaning challenge. So it's just budgetsmadeeasy.com slash spring to get your printable workbook so that you can take some notes and get some ideas, things like that, and join the Facebook community where we're having more discussion and more ideas, seeing what everybody else is doing, cheering each other on. You have that support inside of the free Facebook group, which is this Budgets Made Easy with Ashley um, community. So if you type Budgets Made Easy, uh, you should be able to find the Facebook group. It's pretty big. So um, come and connect with other busy moms just like you working through the challenge. And we've got some prizes coming this week as well to help motivate you to get going, right? All right. So today's challenge is focusing on meal planning, but it's specifically um, doing a pantry or freezer challenge. So this is going to take you a little bit longer, but today's a good opportunity to start planning for that and set a goal of how long you want to do it for. So that's what's great about like a no spin challenge, which is this isn't exactly that a no spin challenge, but you get to make up the rules. But what I want you to do is to base your meals and what you're going to eat for even, let's say the next week at a minimum, two weeks, um, one to two weeks based on what you already have. Of course, you're still going to have to go to the grocery store for a few ingredients, but I want the core, the base of the meal, the majority of the ingredients as much as you can to come from what you already have. So you're cleaning out the pantry and the freezer. If you're like me, uh, sometimes you have to do that just to make space, right? You know, like, okay, Ashley, I got to do some meal planning here around what I already have to get rid of some of this stuff, right? So you're probably the same way. So let's do that. It'll help with your uh, grocery budget. Should cut it down considerably if you have a lot of stuff built up like I do or most families. Um, you should be able to get creative, come up with some ideas based on what you already have. So that is what I want you to focus on today. And then your workbook, I have um, some space for you to just write out some other ideas and some quick, easy meals that you can make instead of takeout. And I want you to write down those meal ideas because that helps me um, not make the excuse of going through drive through because I, I just don't know what we have at home. I don't know what we're going to eat. Um, I've gotten to the point where I don't say like specifically day to day what we're going to eat, but I have a list of meals that we have the ingredients for that I can make. And then that gives me a little bit more freedom to say, okay, I feel in the family, of course, we feel like eating this tonight versus, you know, if I had put something on the list a month ago and we don't feel like eating that today, right? So it gives you a little bit more flexibility, but also helps you stay accountable so that you know what you actually have and can make without having to go through drive through. So um, make some lists, do an inventory, see what you already have and what you can kind of combine and then what, you know, a few ingredients that you're probably going to need. You're still going to need, you know, milk, eggs, bread, probably, you know, some of the fresh stuff too. So, um, but I want you to take inventory of what you already have and make a meal plan um, even for just the next week at a minimum, remember, we want to have a minimum goal so that we don't feel like we failed when, you know, we didn't do this for an entire month, right? So make a small goal that you can hit uh, so you can feel good, reward yourself, like you feel like you've made some momentum. Um, and so 
make a specific deadline for this so that it's not just like forever. Cause I mean, that's not realistic, right? You're not going to be able to live off your pantry and freezer and what you already have forever. Right. All right. So tune in tomorrow, episode 141 on the money mindset podcast for challenge number four. You're almost done. You are getting there. And let me know in the Facebook group, what progress you have made. If you've started planning, if you've started implementing, if you're taking action, let me know. I want to cheer you on as well and go grab the workbook so that you can follow along. Um, with the workbook, you will get an offer for the money saving challenges in the ultimate saving bundle for $7. I'm running that sale just for this challenge for you. Uh, until Sunday night at midnight. So um, whenever you sign up, you'll get that offer. So if you want to get more money-saving challenges for the whole year, different ones each month, so you don't get bored, uh, it helps keep that momentum going, help you keep track of the progress you've made so you can keep yourself from getting stuck. Um, and it's only $7. You print it off, it's got trackers, it's got cash envelopes, it's got um different ideas for every month. So I put everything together for you so that you can save for the rest of the year, even after this challenge is over. So remember, you have to sign up for the workbook to see that offer. So go ahead and do that if you haven't already. And I will talk to you tomorrow.